เดี๋ยวเริ่มเซสชั่นกันนะครับเอ่อก่อนอี้จะเริ่มเนี่ยขออนุญาตหาเสียงเดี๋ยวขออนุญาตหาเสียงแป๊บเดียวนะครับเพ
มีความพยายามที่จะผลักดันตรงเนี้ยให้เข้าไปอยู่ในสับบอร์ดซึ่งถ้าเกิดกลายเป็นสับบอร์ดเนี่ยทุกคนจะไม่มีสิทธิ์แล้วเพราะว่าคนที่จะได้ตรงนั้นได้จะต้องเป็นสับบอร์ดนะครับซึ่งมันมีปัญหาเรื่องการเมืองในวงการของแพทย์เราเนี่ยมากมายที่หม่มเม็ดไม่ให้คนรู้นะครับซึ่งซึ่งตรงเนี้ยต้องรีบเข้าไปแก้ไขด้วยก่อนที่มันจะเกิดผลกระทบต่อทุกคนนะครับก,ก็ฝากเอาไว้นะครับเบอร์เจ็ดสิบหกถึงแปดสิบเจ็ดนะครับเลือกเวลาเลือกก็เลือกให้มันหมดเลยเพราะว่าเข้าไปคนเดียวมันทำอะไรไม่ได้นะครับต้องเข้าไปเป็นทีมมันเป็นทั้งการเสียงโหดนะครับก็ขอบคุณนะครับสําหรับช่วงเซสชันผมนะครับจริงๆตอนนี้ไม่ได้มีเซสชันอะไรอันเนี้ยจะบอกไม่มีก็ไม่เชิงเดี๋ยวช่วยเป็นฟาซิลิเตเตอร์น้องน้องๆหลังจากที่ตัวทุกคนนะบรรยายเสร็จนะครับแล้วมีไลฟ์เซมโมเสร็จก็มีคําถามอะไรก็สามารถถามได้เช่นกันนะครับเดี๋ยวผมจะส่งต่อให้คุณหมอฟุตเป็นมอนิเตอร์เตอร์ดำเนินต่อไปนะครับเชิญนะครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับพี่บอยครับก็แต่งตัวมาพวกเราทุกๆคนนะครับก็เป็นเรื่องสำคัญมากผมก็อยู่ในวงการนี้มา16ปีนะครับสิ่งที่เราเจอเนี่ยก็เราทํางานกันแบบเรียกว่าอยู่ในเกรโซนเนี่ยมันเป็นอะไรที่เทาๆมาตลอดวันนี้เราอยากจะได้ขึ้นมาเป็นแบบลีกอลอย่างถูกต้องแล้วก็อย่างภาคภูมินะครับซึ่งในหลายประเทศในต่างประเทศเนี่ยเขาก็สามารถทําในสัปเวทละจริงๆแล้วพวกเรามีเรียกว่ามีสิทธิ์มีเสียงในการที่จะตัดสินใจตรงนี้ทุกๆคนนะครับก็ต้องบอกว่าพลังของคนรุ่นใหม่เป็นสิ่งสําคัญเพราะว่าสิ่งหนึ่งที่เมืองไทยมีตลอดก็คือเรื่องของซีเนอริตี้เราเราไม่ได้ไม่ให้เกียรติผู้อาวุโสต่างๆนะครับแต่บางอย่างมันต้องเกิดการเปลี่ยนแปลงไปสู่อนาคตซึ่งก็ต้องหวังจากพวกเราทุกๆคนนี่แหละครับผมก็เป็นหนึ่งในเสียงเล็กๆที่ทํางานอยู่ด้านหลักนะครับก็หวังว่าจะสำเร็จกันนะครับเอาละครับในวันนี้นะครับก็ต้องบอกว่าเราได้รับเกียรติจากดรฟอนบ่อยบินได้เมื่อไหร่นะฮะมาบ่อยแน่ๆนะครับแล้วก็แต่ละครั้งเนี่ยก็มีการอัปเดตตลอดเวลาอย่างวันนี้นะครับก็ไม่ได้ถูกบรีฟอะไรมาก่อนแล้วก็ไม่จําเป็นเพราะว่าฟอนมาทุกครั้งก็ปล่อยหมดแม็กทุกครั้งนะครับไม่ว่าจะเป็นเรื่องของเทรดลิฟติ้งนะครับเรื่องของ PDO filler นะครับเดี๋ยววันนี้มีอัปเดตเรื่องของในกลุ่มของเซลล์เทอร์ปีนะครับซึ่งผมแย้มไว้นิดนิดนะครับมันจะมีคําว่าเอ็กโซโซมโผออกมาด้วยซึ่งก็จะคอนติเนียไปถึงช่วงบ่ายแล้วก็ช่วงเย็นนะครับของงานอาร์เวีเอกับเวลคอมพานีอีกหนึ่งบริษัทนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นก็ฝากทุกคนติดตามกันนะครับก็เดี๋ยววันนี้ถ้าใครมีคําถามยังไงก็สามารถที่จะถามทั้งภาษาไทยภาษาอังกฤษได้ตรงไหนที่ถามภาษาไทยเดี๋ยวจะ translate ให้นะครับแล้วก็ระหว่าง live demonstration นะครับมีข้อสงสัยอะไรก็สามารถที่จะสอบถามได้ตลอดเวลานะครับเราเรียนกันมาพอสมควรแล้วถ้างั้นผมจะไม่กวนเวลาของดรพรเขานะครับ so uh, for today I just uh, introduce you a short brief CV that you have a, uh, we have ordered that Have you come to Thailand many many times after the COVID pass? Especially, it's not pass for today, but I think we're gonna uh, go to fight for the future, especially for the aesthetic dermatology. So, for today, you will have a uh, one one an hour because we are late. So normally you have one and a half hour, but now we uh, have a time one hour for a lecture. So please give a big applause to Dr. Phan from Korea. Thank you very much for inviting me here again in Thailand, and good to see you, our doctors. And it's really I'm enjoying the food here, the rice noodles. Okay, so I will tell you about some of the uh, new things from Korea, and also some of the new techniques which we are not using before. Okay, so I will just take a seat. So I'm sure you all know about the PDO threat. So right now in Korea, we have this very interesting item called the PDO microsphere, PDO microgranule. Uh, but but. Uh, The filler in Korea right now has a big trouble. Uh, do you know why we have a big trouble? Many patients, about 80, 90% of patients don't want to put filler. Whenever they hear the word filler, oh, 
Dr. Kwon, I don't want filler. I don't want filler. This is a big trend right now. They don't want filler. And also, uh, one more trend is they don't want something long lasting. You know why? Because we experience a lot of times long lasting fillers, but the result don't last long. But when you have a complication, trouble, they last long. So now in Korea, everybody wants safe, absorbable ones. Dr. Kwon, I can put two times, three times, but I don't want the long lasting. Are you sure this is observable? It's the common question now in Korea. I'm sure soon also the trend in any country will be like that. So also another trend is uh, skin booster, especially is called the uh, collagen skin boosters. So you have to understand the trend has been changed a lot, not in few years. And also, I emphasize to you, whenever you, let's say PDO, we, we say this one is PDO powder for the patient to understand easier. But actually, as I told you, they are PDO microgranules, PDO microspheres. But when you tell to the patient, have you heard about thread lifting, observable thread lifting? And they, most of them, oh yeah, I heard about it. Do you know what is the material and usually they don't know really. So PDO is the material. But now we have a new product, PDO thread, and we have a PDO powder. Oh, that's new. Then what is uh, good about the PDO powder? So we say them thread. Of course, the effect is better, but sometimes big bruise and big swelling. But this PDO powder, usually one to two days slight swelling, and there is no a uh, big problem with the daily activities. So we approach that way. And then, also I tell you, don't approach the patient with a filler. Then, same product, you only charge $400, $500, $600 per cc, right? But when you approach with a lifting, I charge $1,500, $2,000, still no problem. Why? Because this ultra core, when I use two vial for the full face, the lifting effect is much stronger than any machine you have. Ulcera, thermite, you, you try to compare. The lifting effect, this ultra core is much, much stronger. So then why should we charge $500, $400 for the filler? So we can approach with the lifting. And also, I always tell you, don't approach by the number of CC. Okay, that's a very bad technique because we approach by the areas. Areas, one area, $300, $400 here. One area, we approach $300. That's very cheap, right? But actually I'm using very small amount. So please approach by the lifting, then the patient will love it. And don't use small, small areas with a small amount. So the, at least you need to use some amount, okay, to see the effect. So anyway, lifting, surgery, machine, we had a thread. Now we have the ultra core PDO powder in between. Okay, so our concept is lifting. I will go fast. And now is the time of the collagen stimulating fillers. Okay, before we used to have the volume fillers. Of course, I'm still using high running as filler. It doesn't mean that I don't use it, okay? So too much is sunken too much you need a volume, I'm still using hyaluronic acid fillers, okay? And then uh, we have the well-known uh, collagen stimulators, Sculptra, Alance, Ultracol. They are PLLA and PCL and PDO, okay? These are the very main uh, items for the collagen stimulators used in Korea. And we have a lot of uh, the journals nowadays, before of course we didn't have a much, much study, but we have a many journals. PDO have a very good nail collagen genesis and better biodegradability. It, it means better fully absorption, okay? You have to understand this is a very important uh, thing. And also they can 
reduce the superficial skin roughness means you can work on the wrinkles and you can work on the pores okay there is no product can shoot superficially in Korea okay like a PLA cannot shoot superficially okay also PCL is very difficult and also there was a study from another doctor it's not mine belong to me but they say PDO injection induced collagen formation more effectively than PLA. Why? We have the reason. We, we got the studies. Okay, I will show you later. And here the concept is you put the ultra cold, the PDO granules, and then they stimulate the collagen, and then the PDO particle absorb in four to six months. Because it's a microgranule, absorb faster than thread, okay? You might have a question. Oh, then it might be too short, too short lasting, right? Because absorbing four to six months. But I will show you why it's not that like that. Okay, this is the microscopic view of the ultra cold. You can see 100 times, 300 times, 2,000 times, 4,700 times. It's a very beautiful in round sphere, okay? It is a beautiful round sphere. Actually, to make some product, this round sphere is very difficult, okay? It's a, I tell you, it's a world-class technology. Of course, Ultavi also has a PLNA. We, we also produce with a plasma PLNA. So we make fine holes in the product. So actually, we made it absorb more faster than the usual PLNA. This is a comparison between the ultra coal, and this is another Korean product, PLA product, called the Juberu. Uh, please take a look at it. Can you look at the quality of the shape? It's a totally different from the ultra coal. So you have to understand, these are just uh, crushed. So it's not really high quality product, okay? So this is a higher magnification. You can see the shape is a totally different from the ultra coal. We have also a microscopic view of the Sculptra, uh, Astaphil, and Alance, which is uh, all famous fillers. So Sculptra shows very atypical shape of the, the in microscopic views. And Astaphil, this is another Korean product. You can see they have the round structure, but they are crushed. So they are not really round. And we have the Alliance, which is also world famous fillers in Europe, and Hong Kong, Singapore, Korea before. You can see they have a good shape. I admit this is a good shape. But the problem is they have a very weak melting point, means they are weak to the heat. So whenever like a Thailand, temperate countries, they cluster, they become aggregates, and then this will cause a big problem with the nodules. Why? Granulomas. Why? You know, our usual size of the macrophage is a 25 to 30 micrometers. So, think, whenever the product is smaller than 30 micrometers, usually they will be eaten up by the macrophage and they will not show any mid or long term effect. They will absorb very quickly and will not show any effect at all. So uh, we have uh, ultra cold. Actually, we have a uh, two particle size, uh, 50 to 120, uh, and we have a uh, ultra cold 100, which is a uh, 20 to 50. So smaller particle size. Actually, they are based on 30 to 40 micrometers, more than 66 percent. So we use this one as a skin boosters, collagen skin boosters. This is the another Korean product, Juberu. They are more on 10 to 20 micrometers. You can see the sizes. So actually, they will not show any mid or long-term effect of the collagen stimulation. Anyway, these are some of the points. Oh, here one more. So Sculptra Alance Ultra Core. Actually, the PLA uh, product has a melting point about 140 to 150 degrees. And the characteristic of the PLA material is a very stiff, okay? And the duration is about two years. 
And we have the product for the PCL, polycaprolactone, which is the enlancing. Their melting point is very weak, 58 to 60. So whenever very hot, sunny days, you know, you put the egg on the top of the car, they become fried egg, right? So whenever 58, 60, they are exposed to, exposed to the temperature, this uh, filler become aggregates and they become bigger size. So, and bigger size, long lasting is actually not good. Why? Because we found out the filler, which lasts more than one year, they start to have the granuloma and the nodules, okay? This study was done by Jungwang University Dermatologic Department by Kim Bong Jun, very famous dermatologic doctor in Korea. Anyway, PDO, because they absorb in six to six months to eight months already, so they don't have a time to produce the nodule. So you have to understand, oh, then maybe collagen stimulation, because Sculptra, Elanza, two year lasting, four year lasting, then more collagen stimulation, right? You might think that way. I will, let's find out what's the secret. Okay, the PDO basically is a, called a hydrophilic, okay? I also didn't know before why PCL thread two year lasting and PDO thread only six months to eight months lasting. And I we found out PDO has much greater hydrophilic property, okay? Hydrophilic means they are very friendly with the water. And we found out PCL, PLA, basically their characteristic is hydrophobic. So they don't mingle with the water, okay? That's why they take time to absorb, okay? Longer time to absorb. So that's why PCL thread lasts two years, but PDO thread only six months. So let's see if there's any benefit of the hydrophilicity. Hydrophilic property, we found out they have a better cell adhesion and the cell adhesion increase 10 times more than the hydrophobic, okay? Hydrophilic has a better cell adhesion. So if there is a better cell adhesion, what's good about it? We found out the neocollagen genesis is much better than uh, hydrophobic. So usually cell adhesion and collagen stimulation is much better with the PDO. And you remember, when you put something, foreign material here, always the, for, the collagen stimulation is surrounding the foreign material, okay? And then, okay, then how long? How long will be the collagen stimulation? As I, as I mentioned to you, maybe two year lasting more collagen stimulation? You might think that way, but we also had a comparison test in Chungwang University, the Mythology Department, PDO, PLA and PCL, we found out, we put into the nude mouse, okay, nude mouse, we found out no matter PDO or PLA, PCL, they start to produce the collagen from 4th week to 12th week. Maximum is the 12th week. It does mean 2 year lasting, 3 year lasting, 4 year lasting filler, they produce more collagen? No. They are exactly the same, up to maximum 3 months. And of course, the PDO, Ultra Cold, Sculptra, PLA, Alanisen, PCL. Also, we had a comparison collagen stimulation. Actually, the PDO has a very good shape, showing the good shape of the collagen stimulation. And of course, we also made a comparison test between collagen production between world famous filler, Restylane, and the Ultra Cold. Of course, the volume, Restylane, is much better, okay? We are not after the volume with the PDO, PDO uh, powder, okay? So you can see the rest of it, the jelly area is a fill up, and the collagen stimulation is only at the edge area. But ultra core, which has a 200 million microparticle, so you can see the collagen stimulation in general, wide diffuse area. So in terms of the collagen stimulation, of course, ultra core is better. In terms of the uh, volume, wrestling is much better, of course, okay? So you have to understand the fact. So ultra core has a better collagen stimulation than the wrestling.
and this shows also the superficial skin roughness, wrinkle. Do you know that the PLA and the PCR is a little bit risky to shoot on the superficial skin? You, have you heard about something like that? It's very difficult. There was a one product which is not yet registered in Korea, but they registered in Europe called the PCL Gori. They, they start selling in Europe. I went to Europe last June in Tusk. They already have a many cases of the inflammation and infections. So think, two year lasting product you shoot on the superficial skin, are you, are you, do you think it's gonna be safe? So please take a look at it carefully, okay? Okay, Okay, so this is a very interesting collagen stimulation. You know, I told you, whenever you put foreign body, foreign product, foreign material, the surroundings will be stimulated by collagen, right? So, we have the ultra cold 200, we have a 2 million microsphere. So, the 2 million microsphere surroundings will be stimulated by collagen, okay? So, we, we, we count and we measure, actually, one bottle equivalent to 1,427 monofren collagen stimulation. So actually many Korean clinics now uh, doing the advertisement in this way. Uh, one bottle equivalent to 1,400 thread collagen stimulation. And also they uh, advertise liquid thread, or powder thread, so something like that. So they have a very good advertising you know, words nowadays. So we have a two product. The volume here is a natural volume, okay? The, the ultra cold volume is not big volume like uh, HA pillars. But nowadays, so many Korean ladies, they are after the natural. They don't want to put too much pillar sometimes. So this will be a very good candidate for them, okay? So whenever you need a big volume, you use HA pillars. But whenever you need a slight natural volume, you can use the ultra cold 200. And lifting, of course. And we have the collagen boosters for 100, so particle size, 20 to 50 micrometers. So these collagen boosters, actually, they can get rid of the acne scars. It's magic, like a magic. And also the wrinkles, okay? Wrinkles on the forehead, eye area, and the uh, upper lip area, the smoker's lines. So it has a very good feedback from many doctors in Korea. Usually, 100, we use the injector. And this is a, my protocol, okay? Uh, country by country, there might be a little bit different protocols, but I use sterile DC water, 3 cc, maximum 4 cc, and I add a little cane with epinephrine 1 cc. So total 4 cc or 5 cc. Because if you dilute too much, then uh, the collagen stimulation effect is weaker. So whenever I use this protocol, I use usually two, one and a half bottle or two bottle for the lifting, then the patients are very happy with the result. And one of the very good uh, indication for this uh, PDO powder is under the eye area. You know, under the eye area, there are not much safe fillers to use here. But I tell you, now in Korea, this ultra cold uh, represent for the dark circle safe treatment for the dark circle because usually of course good doctors have a good techniques under the eye with the HA pillars but many cases produce the, the tindal effect and bulging here so it's kind of a headache but this ultra cold will produce without these things and become super uh, brighter on the under the eye area okay I can use it as a thread of course you use some amount and inject that way, this will act similar as a liquid thread. Can you imagine? You put a little bit more amount and they will act similar to liquid thread, okay? Also, there's a little fold, marionette lines. Forehead, someone who wanted just a little bit of natural. So actually, I did last week, I did already two very famous Korean actress. They want something natural, so this fit for them. They do shoot full face, they go for the movie after two weeks, three weeks. So this is a very good one for the natural rejuvenation and the brightening and lifting. We can use, actually, most of the Koreans, we use the 
uh, the steam booster by the injector. Do you use also multi injector here? The nine pin, nine needle injector, usually, actually, almost 100% of Korean clinics, they use the steam booster with the injectors. So I recommend injectors as well because it can inject evenly and without, you know, some people, okay, I can do manually, but sometimes depends on the, the patient's skin, uh, you know, some soft skin and hard skin, different, you know, quality control. So you can use the injectors. I also use the injectors. So after the, the ultra cold, you can see the dermal density become thicker. So the wrinkle improved by 34 point and 40% by the lateral eye area, okay? I'll just pass by this. Okay, why we call the collagen booster as a fourth generation skin booster? Of course, we had a first generation HA skin boosters, especially non cross -link. We've been using it 17, 15, uh, 15 years. I, I've been using, start using 2007, 8. And then, we have the second generation skin boosters. Because in Korea, we have an uncountable skin boosters right now in Korea. So why I mention second generation? They are hyaluronic acid plus some vitamin minerals. So this is the Velorga NCTF. Do you know this product, the pink one? And we have the Regeron. Have you heard about the PDRN, the salmon sperm derivatives? So we use the HA plus PDRN. So the Regeron we consider as a second generation skin booster. They are still widely used, some of the clinic. <coughs> and we have third generation. We have exosome. Have you heard about exosome? In Korea, almost 100% <coughs> of the clinic. <coughs> almost 100% of clinics use exosome. They are stem cell derivatives and very famous in Korea. But it doesn't mean that I, I'm using fourth generation, so I don't use the first generation, second generation. I'm still using it, okay? But we just put the grade by the, the history. And now we have fourth generation because they are real collagen stimulators. There was no collagen stimulators you can use on the superficial skin, okay? So you have to understand, we can shoot on the superficial skin with the PDO safely. And the duration. You know, the Regeron, all these uh, skin booster, it seems like uh, they last only two to three weeks, okay? And you have to inject another one after two to three weeks. But collagen skin booster, ultra cold, you inject three times, your acne scar, your skin pores improve much more than any fractional lasers, so they last long. So actually, the duration is totally different from the first, second, third. This is a, the picture. You put the thread, and then you cross, cut cross section, and you can see also the collagen stimulation is surrounded by the, of the thread, okay? This is a thread, and you can see the collagen stimulation surround. So that's why when you put the foreign material, they will, the collagen stimulation is always surrounding the foreign material. And also the thread, in general, there are two types of the lifting. One is collagen stimulation lifting. Like you are using mono, tornado, double twist, which is a collagen stimulation technique. And also you have mechanical lifting, those cokes, mold thread, you know. Uh, but if you really want to master the thread, you should know how to combine the collagen stimulation technique and the mechanical lifting technique as well. Okay, you should know how to combine these two things. Of course, in Korea, we have PDO, PLA, and PCL. And we also have a hybrid thread called the PLCL thread. So there are many types of thread. Actually, I'm using most of the thread at the same time, okay? It doesn't mean 
oh, there is a new mole thread, so I don't use the mono. Oh, there is a mole thread, so I don't use the coke, spiral coke. I'm using it, or, you know, I put the price list, so let patient choose, and I'm using it, okay? And we also have a very interesting octo twist, which we call thread filler. We have a PCL as well. We have a mold, double mold, coax. We have a, a lot of different types right now. Actually, we are coming up with a six centimeter double mold thread, which is for the forehead lifting and the small areas of the lifting with the nasal area fold and marionette. So always, our and the Ultra V will introduce the newest thread in the market. And many of the other Korean companies copy and they just sell cheaper. You already found out of it, most of the time. But we are coming up continuously with the new products. These are the mold thread. These are the emboss mold. Actually, for me, I love this emboss mold thread. And this is the octo twist. Just take a look. Some of the thread sell here. Some of the thread is not selling here. So this is the eight areas with the collagen stimulation. PCL. But anyway, uh, whenever you use PDO or PCL, the cannula technique is the same. Okay? So you can just take a look at those threads. Cannulas as well. Okay, this is the very basic technique. Whenever you are a beginner, I advise you to follow this technique you still have a very good result, more than any machine. So this is a mono, 30, 40, 38, 50, every one centimeter, alternate. You will see good mid-face lifting. And this is the tornado or mono, I, the tornado or double twist, tornado or double twist. So just follow this technique, you will have a very good result already, okay? So this is a collagen stimulating technique. And the mechanical lifting technique for cannulas, okay? Whether you have a coke, cannulas, or molds, you can follow this technique. Usually, we put three for the mid face, three for the lower face. But you have to uh, find out the good layers, okay? So, so please, if you have a chance, you have to attend the hands-on or the live, de live demo, so you will get ideas. And this is the, also the forehead. Usually for the forehead, more than mid-face, lateral area is a sagging, okay? When you get aged, the sagging like this, right? So we use the mold or cannulas, and then we put some of the anchoring thread like the octo twist or some of the uh, double twist or some of the tornado thread here, then you will have a natural lifting on the lateral forehead area. And lower neck area, some patient with a bulging, sagging, then you can put uh, three cannulas under the neck area, right below the jawline, okay? One cm below the prominent jawline, then you will have a very good uh, defined jawline. This is for the bulging, slightly bulging eye back. You can use some of the thread for the, okay? And also, sunken and loose skin, young patient, 30, 40 years old, you can use the inch thread for the vertical shooting. Okay, these are uh, mono thread for the general uh, forehead. Forehead is more difficult because as you can feel your forehead, it just feels like a skin and bone. So it's a more, less effective, but lateral area is quite effective with the thread. And double chin is also quite effective with uh, just a 12 or 16 threads, 15 threads. So it's one of the easy area and very effective area for the double chin. I'm using tornado or double twist all the time. Also, the general tightening, you can use the mono, tornado, double twist, okay? Because some area, you cannot shoot uh, vertically, so you should a little bit slant vertically, okay? 
and the nose we have upgraded for the three-way technique so we make the nose tip which is round we can make it a little bit sharper because this way and columella this was the very common technique but now we have another technique from middle to lower that we can raise the tip a little bit more sharper because whenever you put the filler here usually the filler spread and become more bulkier even surgery if you want to raise the tip of the nose you have to get the cartilage from the the ear at the back of the ear and you put it here but the problem of the surgery when the winker comes become red and sometimes too pointed so it's a big problem with some of the patients but with the thread it's quite safe we have the RF cannula them, which has the temperature 50 degree up and down so this one I use a lot of cases for the previous filler lysis you know whenever you put the HA filler after three years, four years, do you think they will melt by the higher one days? Higher days? Never. So, nowadays, so many filler already put the filler. Actually, I advertise in my YouTube about the melting the previous filler. So, I have a patient from all over the Korea. Do you understand? This is a big, huge market. Another blue ocean, which uh, cannot melt by the higher days. Higher one days. You can use this machine to melt it. It's fantastic. Okay, so you must try it. Deep wrinkles, fat, eye bag, double chin, I use all these machines. Okay, so this machine is one of my favorite machines. It has a lot of different sizes. 18G, 19G, 21G, and 23G is also coming up. Also, we can act similar to the machine called the acne, the Agnes. So we can work on the acne, the red implant acne. You can coagulate. And also, we have a plasma. The three machine is in one. Okay, so this is one of my favorite machines. And Haifu, uh, nowadays, actually, in Korea, I don't know here, Ulthera, Shrink, so many Haifu machines in Korea, but they have a common problem. Do you know what is common problem? Many of the patients after shoot, they have the sunken problems. They complain. So, after the sunken, you know, they don't want to do any more high food. But this is a rubbing high food with a fast speed, but no pain. So whenever I show them just the five minutes on one side, they all tell me, actually in my clinic, more than thousands of patients, they say, Dr. Bot, I will never do Ulthera anymore. I want to do this high food. They change to this high food. So you, you, you try this high food, okay? This is a fantastic lifting in five minutes and long lasting with the brightening, okay? So while you are putting the, the gel, you know, you are using the, the ultrasound gel for the high food, right? So we can. Okay, so high food. The ultrasound gel, you can add on this. I'm adding 11 on ample, which is for the whitening. And this is a, a growth factors. And also, this is a stem cell product. Just the one, two cc together. And then I rub it. They have the super brightness. Okay, So it's quite strange. I went to US uh, a few years ago. And they were making a journals about the high food machine for the penetrating the some ingredient into the skin okay i saw it in the utah university dermatology department so i got the idea from there and i use it the result was amazing so you must try this recipe okay and then uh, we have this called the uh, air dissector okay air shine I tell you, this machine is now getting a lot of boom many years in Korea for the wrinkles and for the skin pores. And I'm also using this machine for the hair growth, okay, stimulation. So you try to compare, when you shoot the skin booster, 
you do the air dissection and you shoot the skin booster, the effect is double, triple, okay? So you, you, I will show in the video, okay? I told you in Korea, it's an era of the skin boosters. So we have a lot of skin boosters. Like a, this is a similar to NCTF filoga, but it's a more vitamin and more peptide, and the HA is more thicker because their, their product is just like a liquid, watery. But this one, we have a 2.5% of hyaluronic acid, so it's quite thicker. The effect is much better. And this is a similar to Regeron, which is the PDRN plus HA. But this one, more peptide, and also the PDRN came from the France company, and uh, one of the high quality medical PDRN ingredient. So you can compare with the Regeron. And this is an element of brightening, whitening. I'm sure Thai people want whitening, so you may try this one combined with the uh, other boosters and you try it, or the, you can use the injector, then you will see the super bright thing. I'm using it uh, many places after the Pico laser toning, actually also produce a lot of uh, PIH. So I'm using it, this product with the air dissector to get rid of the PIH. And this is the wrinkle skin boosters. So wrinkle, uh, I usually use, mix this one and this one together, okay? So sometimes I make a cocktail, brightening, I use this one, I use this one together for the brightening. So you can make a cocktail, okay? okay. So we had a lot of test results. This area is for the RF cannula and the thread together. Two times, because she did a fat graph many years ago and she had this sagging. So we did three times after 18 months. Also the IMAC, see here, improved with the RF cannula and the thread. This is a funny one, one side done, one side not done. Because he's a plastic surgery doctor, he don't believe what I say, so I did him only one side. And then this is after treatment. This is my stuff, before, after. The RF cannula, just ten min, five to 10 minutes procedure with a thread, just the five thread. Also here, so contouring. I use this RF cannula for reduce this one. This is a bone. Dr. Paul, this is bone. Can you reduce the bone with the RF cannula? But you know, we have a soft tissue, we, I mean, in the bone. Up on the bone area, so we control that. Okay, this one is only PDO powder, okay? The ultra cold alone. So can you take a look at it before, after? Two weeks, four weeks, six weeks. Two weeks, four weeks, six weeks. Can you see the difference? We didn't do anything, just the ultra cold. So also this area, you know when we talk about the lifting, we always talk about the lifting here, right? But this one, the ultra cold PDO powder, we can make the lifting on the front area and on the eye area, and also improve the Indian fold, okay? So this is an amazing product which can help in the lifting of the front cheek area. And the brightening as well. This is a picture from Thailand, other eye area, two sessions after. And this is a picture from uh, Dr. Kang Sung Hoon, one of the famous dermatologists in Korea, he used a machine called the Vectra to measure the lifting effect of the ultra cold. The blue one is the lifting, okay? So after two weeks, after eight weeks, after 16 weeks. So you can see the lifting effect of the ultra cold. 
is uh, quite strong. Two weeks, <coughs> the blue one, before, after. Eight weeks, six weeks. So you can try for the lifting, okay? Just use the one and a half bottle or two bottle, then you will see the magic. This one is the, we don't fill up here, but we use this technique. So you can see the lifting effect similar to thread. Thread lifting, okay? This one, we use the one cc. And please listen carefully. When I say one cc, I use 0 0.5 here and 0 0.5 here. Don't use one cc all here, okay? Then you might have the bulging. Even though this will not produce the long-term nodule, but still, if you put one area too much, there is a small nodule last two to three months. So just be careful, okay? Just like a restaurant metal, if you put two superficial, you have the nodules for lasting many months. Of course, they will not last a long-term nodule, but still, you have this problem. So try to put spread it evenly, then you have no problem. So this one, I use five pieces of video thread plus the ultra core one cc. Then it is uh, eight weeks, two weeks, two months left later. This is also uh, work of the Dr. Hum from Bonia Clinic in Korea. He used two vial for the lifting. Please take a look at it after one month. After two months. So you see the lifting effects. Four weeks, again two vial. Again, two bio, three weeks, three weeks, and also the wrinkles. Can you remove this one with the HA filler? So this one, actually this case, I used the 200 deep dermal layer injection. Actually just one time, but he improved a lot better than before. Even after six months, still there, okay? This one, I use the one octo twist thread and I use the ultra curl 100 for the superficial injection, okay? So you can use and you can see the real effect of the collagen stimulator. Okay, this is the, for the hand rejuvenation called the double layer technique. Means here I inject cannula 23G, this pattern. This pattern, and also another puncture here, I inject this pattern, 2cc. I made a 4cc dilution, and 2cc on the left hand, 2cc on the right hand. And after that, ultra core 100, I combine the ultra boosters, just like a pink boosters or the PDRM boosters, I combine. Uh, so I made a 4cc dilution, I combine the 4cc of the booster, I use the machine, I inject one side, 4cc. So I used two bottles, 200, one bottle, 100, one bottle. And then this is a right after. Okay, this is a right after, you can see. And this is a after eight weeks. Okay? Just one session. Of course, if we do one more session after two months, usually usually two or three months after we do one more session, then the result is much better. And this is also quite interesting picture. One of the very famous doctor, Lee, from the Demi Ray, he shoot only one side of his hand. Because I told you, people think, oh, doctor, well, we talk for only PDO observed in four months, six months, then the effect might be only four months, six months. So this is shows the effect of the real collagen stimulator. So he should, this hand, he didn't shoot here. Three weeks, four weeks, six weeks, and this is six months after. Can you see six months after? With the ultra call, without ultra call. So it shows the real collagen stimulator is the effect 
it's not only the absorption of the PDO, but the stimulated collagen will last another six to one year. Okay? It's now already one year, his hand, still left hand, still better. So whenever I'm gonna meet him, I will take another photo. And it works, this is for the 100, uh, which is a fine particle. Superficial wrinkles improve more than 50%. And also the skin pores, okay? We use the injector after the anal dissection. After one treatment, usually patients say, Dr. Kwon, I treated fractional laser 10 times on my face for the skin pores and acne scar. One time, two times is better than the fractional lasers five times, okay? So the patients are very happy. They usually tell me after three sessions, Dr. Kwon, I feel like uh, you iron my face, okay? So you try. But one thing you have to do before the skin pore treatment, you have to clean up the pore first. Do you have the machine called the aquapil or the hydrofacial? So you have to clean up the pores and then you should air shine, air dissector and the ultra coal. If you don't clean up the pores, the effect is not there, okay? Because the pores, black head, white head, they are blocking the pores. How can we shrink the, you know, the skin pores? So you have to get rid of this skin, uh, black head and white head first, then you do the ultra coal, you will see the magic. Forehead skin, also the nose skin, nose pores is fantastic. All my patients, they've been doing fractional laser for the nose pores, but now they said they become sensitive. The nose become reddish all the time. So without, with the ultra cold, it will not happen, okay? And also this is another double layer technique. This patient actually did uh, so many things on her face. She did a fat graft, she put many fillers, she put many threads, she put many, she did ulcera, thermage in all of the clinics. But she told me, Dr. Kwon, I don't see any effect from all those treatments. Yeah, because she did so many things, you can see the irregularities on her face, right? So anything you do, it will not work. So I told her, okay, ultra core, I can promise you one thing. Your irregularity will be more regular, more even. Are you okay? Then I will do it. So she agreed, you see. So, so this one is a double layer means. I used the 200 subdermal layer, 100 for the superficial injection, together at the same time. And then she was very happy with the result. This just uh, happened just last uh, few weeks ago in, the, I think it's a Germany, or I, I don't know where it was in, Europe. So we fixed her, and they were very happy with the result, okay? So ultra cold, we produce you very good result with the natural lifting effect. Okay, the time is running up. I will go a little bit short and I will show you some of the videos which I cannot show by the demonstration. Now, the exo booster, exozone, is a very hot in Korea, okay? Past two years, it has been used by almost 100% of clinic in Korea, okay? So exosome, overcome the ridge run and all those, uh, you know, the, the, what do you call it, the Chanel injection with, you know, the NCTF logo. So exosome is the fully used by 100% of clinics in Korea. So you should have know about, some idea about this product, okay? So exosome usually, we were thinking before, is the secretion, expression product, like a debris or some of the, you know, shit of, of the cells. But we, we were not thinking this is an important one. But nowadays, we found out exosome is a, one of the communicator between cell to cell communication. So they transfer some of the uh, ingredient or they help to transfer, help to transfer absorption of the, some of the ingredient into the cell. Okay, so it has been uh, updated in many countries and Korea as well. So they play a big role in cell-to-cell -cell communication. Okay, this exosome is sprayed and they go to some other areas and they transfer the materials, transfer, help to <coughs> transfer all those uh, signals. 
So anyway, these are some of the things you can just uh, take a look at it. Uh, <coughs> So actually, we have a many source of the exosome. You know, some of them, they get from the blood. Some of them, they get from the umbilical cord. And some of them, they get from the placenta, adipose tissue. And also, uh, you know, there in Korea, there are many exosome companies. They always talk about the number. Oh, we have the highest number of exosome, right? There was some company like that. But you know, we found out number is not important. The quality is more important. So they have the big number, so they don't have the effect. Actually for me, before I use this exosome, I have a, my own way. So for example, I took those companies' exosome because I compare all the exosome from Korea. Prostemix, Exocobio, I, I got the, all the product. I used half face with uh, this product and half face with this product, you know, in my clinic, I ask uh, eight of my staff, I let them, I do to those patients. And sometimes I get the real conclusion, oh, this product is much better, right? So I always tell you, if you are doctor, you need to compare. Like for example, you try our ultra call on the right side, you try the PCL, Gori on the left side, and you will see the difference. You will know the difference, right? So I usually test that way. So anyway, there are a lot of sources of the exosome. So actually, uh, exosome, uh, many in Korean companies, they study for the, the what do you call this, atopic, atopic dermatitis. And so also they use, they also uh, having a trials for those the skin problems, I, I, I cannot remember the name, the something, uh, you know, after the vaccine, I for, I'm very forgetful now. <laughs> really, really, I cannot remember, you know, something is wrong with my brain. Anyway, they use many of these uh, allergic diseases, they are testing it in Korea, okay? So, exosome is really one of the hot items right now. So scar, they, they also using a lot of scar you know, treatment and the skin rejuvenation, pigment, hair growth. So exosome is just like a, one of the stem cell, you know, the growth factors we were used to use it, but we can say it's kind of an upgrade from the stem cell, okay? So more specific, okay? More specific product from the stem cell. So we have the exo booster, which is a quite selling uh, good in Korea. So they have uh, all these, uh, actually this exosome also contains the PDRN, exo booster I mean, PDRN and some of the peptides all together. So actually it's not only exosome. And this exosome, some of the cord blood, uh, human cord blood uh, exosome. We, we pick up the exosome, okay, from the cord blood. So we have the amino acid here, and also peptides, and hyaluronic acid, so exosome plus PDRN. So, oh, stop there. Oh. What happened? So it was not show from the beginning? Yeah. Oh, really? I was thinking. Sorry. So anyway, I will just click a little bit. Yeah. So the exosome is uh, secreted from the cell, and then they communicate from cell to cell, help to in the. <coughs> So this is the exosome, and then they help to transfer some of the ingredients, and they help to signal 
so they can target the organs. Okay? So exosome, there are many uh, sources, adipose, placenta, and bone marrow, and umbilical cords. So now exosome is widely used in the skull treatment, and pigment, and hair growth, and skin rejuvenation. Okay? So they are more specific than previously we were using the stem cell media the products. Okay? So we have an exo boosters. Actually, this exo booster contain cord, human cord blood uh, ex exosomes. So and also they contain other PDRN and other peptide and HA and other metal solutions. So the main ingredients are amino acid, peptide, exosome, and PDRN hyaluronic acid. So the exo booster, this one is selling quite a lot in Korea with a good quality. Okay, so these are the, the ingredients of the exo boosters that you see here. So actually I also use this exosome in my actual practice with Ultra 400. I sometimes I mix the exosome 50-50 and I shoot at the skin boosters. And also sometimes I use the the Ultra 400 with the, like a, the pink boosters mixed together and shoot. So some of the case by case, some of the allergic patient, sensitive patient, I use the exosome. And some scar patient, I use the exosome plus the, uh, the ultra cold, something like that. Okay? So you can make a different cocktails with the ultra cold 100. So I usually use uh, in combinations. Okay, so I will show you some of the live videos so you can take a look at it. And this is also one of the uh, favorite of, actually I'm using this one uh, every night, every morning because this is a, the, the, the very upgrade uh, ampule which I'm using for the rejuvenation and the regeneration of the skin. You can try any wound or any laser or any treatment, you can let the patient apply it three, four, five times a day and the skin become, the wound heal very fast. And actually, I'm using it every day, okay? Even I, I don't have a wound, I use it every morning, every night. It's one of my favorite with my 11 ampoule. So this one also contains the PDRN and amino acid, HA, and peptide. Also, EGF, okay? It's all inside. We just made it in the form of the uh, top cup. Okay, so let's go to the sub. Uh, actually, there are many things about these things, but. Let's go to the video. So, actually, you have a 15 minute. It's going to be okay if you want to, to talk about a little bit something that you're preparing for. Before we move on, uh, could you tell me about the. the Standard protocol for using the digital code 200 and 100. How to mix? Yeah. Uh, I mean, how to um, tell the patient about um, how often they have to come back for repeating. Okay. Uh, Ultra code 200. I for me, I always mix three cc of sterile DC water and one cc of the little cane with the epinephrine. So for me, I always make four cc, okay? And then I use, let's say, for the lifting, I use the two bottle, so four cc here, four cc here. Then usually I tell them to come back after three months. Why three months? Because you need the three months to stimulate the collagen, right? So I showed you. That's why I tell them to come back three months. But some of the dark circle patient, which is a sunken too much, some those patients I tell them to come back after two months to do the top up. But when you do the top up, you don't have to mix like a four cc. But I usually mix five cc. I mean dilution. 
Initially, I used the sterilized water, 3 cc, but this time I use 4 cc. I dilute a little bit, then I do the top up which areas patient want to do. And then ultra core 100. I also mix uh, 3 cc of the 3 cc of the sterile DC water and 1 cc uh, little can with the FTP. Same. But here, before I use it, I mix the, the boosters 50 50. If I'm going to use ultra core 100 2 cc, then I add a pink booster or exosome booster 2 cc. So I make it 4 cc. I use here and here and here. You will see the effect really compared to other skin boosters, more longer lasting and the pores and the wrinkles will really improve a lot with this uh, uh, recipe. So, so that means for the Ultra Core 200, um, they're just only two sessions. Yeah, uh, yeah, for me, I use today, after three months, one more session, usually they last uh, one year. So the result lasting quite long, longer than uh, we imagine. But if you dilute too much, the effect is a lesser, and they seems like uh, they are not lasting too long. Okay, so for 200, I recommend you total 4 cc or 5 cc, uh, 5 cc maximum. But the quality better hurry. Yeah. And maybe we leave Q and A at the end of the talk. Okay. Okay, so you see this patient. The forehead sunken is a slide. So this is a good candidate for the ultra core. Okay? So is it ultra core 200? 200, yeah, 200, 4 cc dilution. Ultra core has no resistance because it's a liquid. So you have to be careful when you shoot. Okay? Sometimes if you shoot, it, it should too too much. So you have to control the amount. Slowly. And the depth of the injection? It's a subdermal layer. Don't go deep, okay? We are after the collagen stimulation. So you don't go deep, okay? If you go deep, the effect is not there. So this, uh, this one, you are using the cannula? Cannula 21G, but I recommend you 23G, 5CF cannula. If you don't have it, 22G, stay okay. Yeah. Uh, we use 100% cannula, blood cannula, yeah. especially 23G, 22G, 21G. We never experience any vascular problem, but I don't recommend 27G cannula, 25G cannula, I don't recommend because some of them still looks sharp, so they might have uh, some problem with the vascular, big vascular problems when you force to puncture. So I recommend you to use 23G. We have a zero percent vascular problem. Yes, uh, that I think that uh, to do the vascular in this area, if it, 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 it sometimes got some accident for the telling about the wall of vascular and you inject the other part inside. Maybe the particle of the other form maybe go inside the vascular. Uh, the effects, if you compare with the filler, I, I, I think this is the filler has a serious problem like this. But uh, for the other form, if it, it go inside the vascular, what is the problem? They will have a same effect. So if, I mean, if they occlude the vascular, you have to use the same uh, re remedy, I mean recipe, like uh, you have to use the vasodilators, you know, all those uh, anti-necrotic treatments. But if you use the 22G, 23G cannula, 
it's quite big and blunt. So they never have a chance to occur the vascular. So don't worry, yes. So I think that the equation is accidentally obstruction for the PDO particle. Is it permanent or temporarily blocked of the vascular? And because okay. of it is a PDO, how can we dissolve it? So right now, even you occlude with a cross-link A chain, can you dissolve it right away? It's impossible. So it's the same. So only the treatment for the vascular occlusion, necrosis treatment. So you have to follow the same protocol with the anti-necrosis treatment. Benzodiazepines, and you have to use some of the things. But you know, uh, in, in my, actually I use this one more than four years we never experienced any single case of a vascular occlusion. Please use cannula. It's uh, impossible to occlude. So I think that the answer is it can be obstruction, like HA filler. So you need to use the blind cannula and you ensure that the plane that you inject is safe. So please be careful. I think it's the same. That, that I think uh, the, the superficial plane and the forehead is really dangerous, right. as you know. right? <laughs> you know, in Korea, in Korea, here, blood blood filler banned. Doctors are banned to use the filler here because so many cases of the blindness reported in Korea. Because we use a lot of fillers, you know. One clinic uses more than 100, 200 fillers every every month. So we have a thousands of clinics like that. So we have many reported cases. So Korea FDA banned to use filler here. But threat is okay. And this one, we are not mainly shooting here, but we are only going the subdermal layer with the blunt cannula. So don't worry, yes. don't worry, you try it, okay? And here under the eye, you know, our technique is a little bit different pre with the previous fillers. Look at here. You have to go until the lower margin of the eyeball, okay? You see, we go up, up to here. Yeah, okay? Yes. Because we are making a one long stroke, and please don't shoot this way. Stop, 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 don't do this way, okay? This will not give you any lifting effect at all, okay? So you have to make a one long stroke. Small long stroke, small long stroke, in that way, you can lift up on the front area, okay? So this is a one very important technique to improve the under eye area, okay? It's not, it's not that difficult, okay? Just follow slowly and shoot, it's easy. I will show you later, and don't worry, because it's not that difficult, I tell you. We had uh, also some small hands on yesterday, it was very easy, okay? And one more thing, you can do the lifting for the, the, the lower jaw area, especially right before the marionette line. One more thing, don't go deep. I told you, don't go muscle area, okay? You will not see any effect at all. So if you don't see any effect, that means you are in a wrong layer. Look at this one. You look like you are scratching the skin, okay? You are scratching the skin, you have to put on the superficial subdermal layer, I mean subdermal layer, then you will see the great lifting effect. You see, this is immediately after. And one month after, what will happen? She will have the collagen stimulation in this position, that's why she has the great lifting. You have to understand the technique, okay? If you should, of course, if you should more, you might create some volume, natural volume, but mainly we are not after the volume. If you want the volume, you use the H shape filler. You have to understand the concept here, okay? So this is the different concept you have to understand. This is a little cane, epinephrine, because we are combining the octo twist under the eye, because he wants to improve this area, so we have a different approach. 
But even though you approach from the lateral area, you have to reach up to the nasal border, okay? You have to reach up to the nasal border, and you shoot slowly. You look at the speed of eye shooting. You see? You have to shoot very small amount, even amount, okay? Don't shoot at once, then you have the bulging out, okay? Even though uh, it will not create a long term nodule, still you will suffer from the patient complaint. So you go up to the nasal border and shoot slowly. <coughs> and if you want to improve the Indian lines, Indian fold, you have to go over the ligament, okay? This is the only thing can improve the uh, Indian fold with really naturally, okay? If you put the filler here too much, soft skin lady patient, they can improve sometimes Indian fold, but some of the strong ligament patient, you have more unnatural, okay? So you have to go over it. So you have to understand the technique. So superficial, very superficial, okay? Look, this area, very stiff, okay, especially male patient. The zygomatic ligament is very strong, so sometimes the cannula bend, you see? So you have to go over it, okay? That's what you have five minutes, okay, the last five minutes. This is an octo twist, like we use instead of the filler. Some of the patients who want to do the naturally, we use the octo twist here, five pieces. and go back and do some dissection, okay? We are not doing the molding, but we do the dissection. So spread evenly, collagen stimulation evenly, okay? So this is our technique. <coughs> and we can combine the thread. Why you combine the thread? I told you mechanical lifting and the collagen stimulation, instead of the mono thread, you can use the ultra core as a collagen stimulation then the combination effect is great, okay? So this is the cannula. Some Asians with the mala prominence, you can bend the cannula a little bit, then you can go in. So our ultra V technique, go over the nasal labia pole, at least one cm. Okay, so, so this is a combination between the mechanical thread lifting and collagen stimulating PDO powder. Okay, so I, I see him after one and a half year, still want, still the eye area good. Okay, so this is a combination. I will just show you the last video, then let's see. Okay, this is the air dissection, okay? Air dissection for the wrinkles. So you can imagine, after the dissection, you, you put the collagen stimulating skin booster, what will happen? The wrinkle improve more than you, you imagine, okay? So I'll go quick. You can dissect any wrinkles, okay? Skin pores, acne scars, Line wrinkles, you know I charge this one wrinkle, long one, and long one, three to four hundred dollars with ultra cold. But actually I use ultra cold only 0 0.3 cc. So imagine, one bottle, I, I generate 2,400 USD. So you have to understand, you charge by the area. Lateral eye area, I charge 300 dollars for both sides, okay? so. You should understand and get some ideas how to get more profit with the same one bottle. Okay? I 
open quickly? So Dr. Kwan, after you reconsider the contract call, how long did you keep it? And it, it's, now? it's a matter of stability. If, you know, I always tell you, when you take out the, uh, the ultra pole, don't put the air. If you put the air, we found out, after three days, the bacteria start to grow. So three, four days after, you take it, not really infection, but you can sometimes some inflammatory reaction. So whenever you take out from the bat bottle, clean up, don't put the air, just take out slowly, slowly, then step out. I usually can keep up to one, but you have to be, of course, it's much better if you open it, you use it right in the one to two days, okay? You need to get it in the refrigerator. I put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. So this is the uh, combination of Ultra Pro 100 and with my the boosters. So shoot this way. So this is a uh, how to improve the scars, wrinkles, and skin pores. Okay. Uh, some of the patients with a small nose, you can use the manually, okay, manually, after air that. So now that I don't want to be finished the presentation, time for the question. Okay, have for microphone, you can go on Can you speak louder? Is there any lumps and bumps after other call injection? You mean the lumps? Yes, after two weeks like that. Uh, look at this one. Just to finish. If you have also machine like a cryo, I always do the cryo. Usually the patient, main patient, usually can walk. Nothing, no, no lumps. But, you know, those, uh, uh, those, uh, the skin booster, you inject manually without air dissection. They have these, uh, you know, bumps, lumps, small lumps, uh, three to four days. So the air dissection, the air dissection also prevent, produce the small lumps. Okay? And also, if you mix the Ultra Core 100 with the skin booster 50-50, you never create small lumps. Okay? That's why I don't recommend them manually because some area you might shoot more, some area you might shoot too superficial, and you might create some more lumps. Okay, so to prevent air dissection, one, to prevent, number two, you mix with the skin booster, and then usually I have no problems. Okay, so 